Hi YouTube singers, actors, performers. I've got a short video for you about stage fright. The truth about nerves in stage fright. So as you probably know, there are lots of workshops, books, lots of things out there on the internet and everywhere else about stage fright. I'm here today to simplify it for you because you know by watching me, simple is my thing. I want you guys to move on do other things and get performing and <laughs> not worry so much about little things that waste your time. I like to get right to it. So there's a lot of things they're not telling you about stage fright. They are not simplifying it for you. So let's do that today. So all the little candles and rituals and deep breathing can only go so far. Because really what it comes down to, in my personal opinion, in my work, with myself and with lots and lots and lots of singers, actors, performers of all ages and, and levels, mind you, it really comes down to this. It comes down to knowing one really key thing and remembering one key thing when you're up there, either auditioning or performing. And that is getting into the brain of the people that are watching you. So what do we, what do I mean by that? Know this, when you are auditioning for somebody or performing for somebody, nine times out of 10, really, really close to 10 out of 10, they are thinking great thoughts for you. They are not there to see you fail. If they are watching you perform, even more so are they in your corner. Think about it this way. Like I said, you wanna put themselves, put yourself in their shoes. It's Monday. That's how I sound. I'm making a YouTube video on my unedited Mondays. <laughs> when you go to a concert or a show, any sort of performance, do you ever take time out of your day, right? You only have so much free time and you only have so much disposable income to spend on such things. See where I'm going? Do you say, gee, I hope this sucks. I hope everybody up there is terrible. Right? <laughs> Again, do you see where I'm going with this? Why on earth would your audience not want you to be good? They want you to be great. They want you to be phenomenal. They are there because they chose to be there. What about the audition? Why on earth will they want to sit there for hours? Yes, sometimes hours, sometimes hours over a set of several days weeks, depending on how big the project is, why would they want to spend all that time listening to one terrible person after the other? I guarantee you they don't. They want every person to be amazing and right for the job, right for a right fit for the show or whatever they are casting for. So you see, they're thinking these things as they are watching you and listening to you. So hopefully that changes things for you, knowing that they are not coming from a place of judgment, rather, or expectations even. They're coming from a place of hopefulness. They hope you're good. They want you to do well. So why on earth do we make it so difficult when we're going up there to audition and perform? Why are we always telling ourselves that there's something to be afraid of? The truth is, we're only afraid of letting ourselves down. It really goes, you know, it's cliche as can be, but we are our own worst critic. So hopefully this video is helpful in reminding you that, you know, all these other little things you can do they're, they might not be getting you anywhere because there's still that block of you assuming that the people watching you, listening to you sing or act, perform, are coming from a place of judgment and for some reason they're there to criticize you when the opposite is true. They want you to succeed, so you should want the same for yourself. Now. Sometimes we have that block where there was a previous performance where something went wrong. You forgot a line. You, I don't know, your costume fell off. I don't know. Let 
bygones be bygones, right? Look at every performance as a clean slate. Because it is. Yeah, I mean, it's totally fine to use past positive experiences when you need to pump yourself up and soothe yourself and really energize you to get you going. That's great. But at the same time, don't let that overrule the here and now because, like I said, every performance is a clean slate. And if you get a little too comfortable saying, oh, well, that was amazing last time, you're a little too comfortable. So there's that balance. That's why I always like to tell my singers and actors and all performers, don't really rely too much or at all on what you have done, good or bad, or neutral in the past. That doesn't really matter. Look at what the possibilities are. That's what the audience is looking at, what's going to happen. And that's what happened with you. You know what to do, go out and do it. Things that happened before, great. That was before. This is now, you're getting out there and they are not there to tear you apart. They are there to enjoy themselves. So why don't you join them? Remember, this is a two part interaction, the audience and you. And so much can be lost from that amazing give and take of all that, um, you know, the energy, that positivity when you are stuck in yourself, worrying about the what ifs, the bad what ifs. What about the good what ifs? So run with it. They are there to be a part of the performance with you. So don't keep that wall up. We talk a lot about walls and performing, but quite personally, I believe all walls are pretty bad. You want to be that personable performer? So start with looking at things a new way. You've got nothing to fear. Go out and do your thing. Know that no matter how untalented you think you are, which is probably false, if you can give the impression that you are having fun and that you are confident, that is more than half the battle. There are a lot of people getting by on very little talent with lots and lots of confidence and quite a big personality. So just some food for thought for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video on stage fright and the performer's mind. And don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos. I got a huge variety going on. So much more than technique because as far as I'm concerned, singing is so much more than the technicalities. So much more. So I hope you like what you saw. Vocalmolly.com if you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help. I'd love to help you. So check out my site. Check out more videos and happy singing and acting and performing to one and all. Until the next video.